you know, it's as it gets closer, it gets it's getting harder, you know, because um, obviously there's a lot of emotions tied together with us, uh, myself, my son, and 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 the Fullerton players. But like we said earlier, it's another game that we have to make sure that we we're prepared for um, as we try and move up the ranks in the Big West Conference standings. So obviously, knowing this Cal State Fullerton team so well, how have you been preparing the Mustangs? Like I've been trying to get them to, if they can close their eyes see exactly how they're trying to attack us because you know a lot of the stuff that they do we already do um, but you know it's, it's things that I've, I've done with coach Taylor for the last six years of trying to trying to instill that that system over there so just trying to get the guys to understand how they're trying to attack us and then uh, the Big West standings as of right now about halfway through the season still pretty close what do you make of that well yeah you know it's like that every year with the Big West you know you can go one week from from eighth to second place and and that's the that's the great thing about being in the big west you know there's a lot of parity and there's a lot of ability to move up up the ranks uh, week to week yeah so you've been having some really close games as of late how have you kind of managed the team uh, you know just kind of managing their expectations with these games where you know so close at in hawaii so close in irvine uh, how have you kind of been managing that with the team <clears throat> when we took over the the the, the job and, and this program, that's the one thing that we tried to focus on was trying to get these guys to change their psyche and try and get them to understand how to win those games late. And, you know, it's still a process, a working process. But, you know, in the Big West, you, on the road, you have to give yourself a chance at the end of the game, which we've done. Now we have to learn how to finish those out. Um, and then, so Malik Harwell, all week we've been hearing he's hurt, he might play, he might not. Uh, can you give us any sort of update regarding uh, Harwell? Uh, Malik uh, fractured his left wrist um, in the Irvine game, so uh, it's not a bad fracture, but he will be out this game, and hopefully he'll be back on um, Saturday against Davis. Obviously a player that, you know, he's had, unfortunately, a few injuries or a few things that have kept him out of, you know, playing consistently. How have you kind of been managing the team with, you know, just, the, you know, is it the next man up kind of mentality for, for your team right yeah, now? Yeah, it's definitely next man up for us, and, and we've been talking about that from the beginning because we've had injuries from day one. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's part of the game, and everybody's got to be ready to step up. And Junior Ballard, we're moving to the starting lineup. Kobe Rogers will probably get more minutes. Um, so we'll see how that works. And then uh, just regarding the injuries in general, how do you keep morale of the team kind of up and moving when it's kind of hard where you're seeing guys fall to injury all over the place? Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's a part of the game, and, and the guys have to understand that um, it's going to happen. And when it does happen, it's not the end of the world. Just try and get treatment and try and get back on the floor as quick as possible. Because once again, we're playing in the best part of California, playing basketball, Division One basketball. We're blessed to be doing what we're doing. All right, final question, Coach. Just Cal Poly versus Cal State Fullerton. What do you expect of this matchup? It's going to be a track meet. It's going to be a track meet. So get ready. Um, your, your neck is going to be turning from left to right quickly. Uh, so hopefully the, 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 the Mustangs come out on top at the end of it, though. Well, thank you so much for joining us once again, Coach, and uh, have a great game. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be back after a quick break with more Mustang Game Day. Don't go anywhere.